Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading and this is your reading for the next 7 days and I'm going to pull out cards to see what energies are coming towards you in the next 7 days and these are general readings so uh, may or may not resonate with for all of you so please take only those that resonates and you can leave the rest behind so let's begin and see what's coming on your way in your current energy you have is the 7 of wands eight of wands and the nine of wands and one obstacle one possible obstacle is the emperor okay and you are releasing the moon embracing the magician okay and overall outcome there are three cards over here so i'm going to read this at the end of the reading so in your uh, recent uh, in your current energies you have is the seven of wands eight of wands and nine of wands these are all fiery uh, energies which are like action oriented and it is like from seven to eight to nine means an expansion of your energies from where you are presently now you are expanding uh so it is uh you are must be uh somewhere in a uh, top of a situation where you are getting your responses very well and you are looking at how far you had come and what are the other areas that you need to do at it so you are not giving up in any way so you are seeing how best you can make your energies flow into situations so that it can be like more of action oriented because you have all the three of them as the wands which is a fire energies and it is uh, uh it is like action oriented so you are in a very action oriented kind of energy and you will be using your energy in a in a very um enthusiastic creative uh, way as well as you will be depending most of your areas so that you can uh, see how you can best uh, best um, uh, make use of your energies into the potential area that you are presently in the situations that you are in so you are at one point you are um, you know, like happy in a happy situations and at some other point you are in a very defending kind of a situations like you are defending your energies or like if you are protecting your energies from some kind of um, uh, other energies where you are um, experiencing or you are are anticipating or you are like feeling or intuitively feeling that um, things are around and uh, what is one obstacle that you will be um, mostly facing which is like the emperor as like um, emperor energy is like um, you know exactly what you have to do so you are confident and you are uh, action oriented but you have to be mindful also mindful like uh, how you are making your actions or taking your actions in in a direction so that you yourself is satisfied as well as wherever you are making uh, putting your energies uh, uh, where, where it is surrounded with other energies whether they are also uh, like comfortable uh, with the uh, by staying within your energy so it is like uh, mostly like a uh, very confident at the same time mm, the energies don't get too overconfident so that uh, you make a mess out of it uh, so you have to be uh, careful like you are making your decisions or you are make, taking things in a very uh, in a very uh, mindful way okay and in your uh, what you're releasing is the moon uh, means uh, that which is in a very illusionary state of um, area or 
which you do not have any clarity so you are releasing you are just hoping like when this time will come it will unfold on its own so you are releasing that energy instead of overthinking at it or finding out or looking at it and like uh, making your energies work in a different way instead of doing that you are calm and you are trying to be peaceful and and uh, trying to keep yourself in a very um, calm status so you and uh, like you are releasing all those that which is uh, in a very illusionary state of um, in in an illusionary state for you and where you do not have any clarity you are just releasing them and uh, what you are embracing is the uh, magician which is like you have the power and potential within you so you are uh, accepting and adapting and embracing uh, the energies the potential or skilled energies within you where you are uh, transform you can transform uh, situations whether uh, from negative to positive or you are building up something and uh, something uh, so it is like you are embracing your um, your uh, own energy which has the potential of creating uh, things and making it happen so with your wisdom you are uh, seeing like how you can uh, how you can make use of your, uh, your energies in in the areas where it is required so that you can see something more uh, profound in the areas where it is required so this is uh, what is it and uh, what you need to know like uh, Ace of Cups, some kind, some new beginnings in relationship will happen, or you will be filled with uh, love and emotions and compassions. Like your energy of feelings will uh, be inactive, and it will be very intimate. And uh, in order to balance the relationship that you are currently in, and King of Swords, uh, you have you are wise. Uh, wisdom and you have the logical uh, empowerment and and you know exactly how to make use of your thoughts and put them into actions and uh, execute them execute them in the in the area of your um, work and night of uh, night of souls is also here where you are uh, trying to reach towards your goal like to achieve something and you are just focusing on that so you're focusing on some Something that which you can achieve with your wise and um, logical and practical um, um, analytic uh, ways of doing things and also like you are uh, moving ahead with any uh, moving ahead uh, for any uh, other relationships that is coming on your way it can be like your any kind of partnerships or it is also like a relationship within yourself if there if there is any situations that you needed like to build up certain uh, kind of um, emotions and feelings you need to build build up on in order to uh, make things happen in a very balanced uh, manner let's see what we have from the soul helper oracle deck to three i will pull three messages to see what what message you we have for you okay. cross the bridge of happiness it leads over the depths of your emotions so um, so like uh, to build up your feelings and emotions so that you can cross that bridge of your happiness which is within yourself you cast a spell with your existence magic flows brightly and radiantly within you like you have the potential within you and you yourself is like a blessing and you are just building up on those areas so that you become blessings to others and a partnership for the new age which uh, very much um, is connected with this with your feelings so there will be feelings and emotions uh, on your way whichever areas and a partnership for the new age it is time to welcome it so any kind of any uh, anything that is uh, coming up in where you need to build up your own partnerships or like you need to build up your own feelings and see like how best you can use your feelings in the situations that you are in and you can conduct those areas in a more um, uh, balanced uh, way so that is all I have have for you Gemini I hope this helped and thank you for tuning in and see you in my next reading bye